is a three digit number such that the ratio of the number to the sum of the digits is the least. So that means you have a three digit number, let's say x, y, z is a three digit number and you divide that by the sum of the digits that is x plus y plus z this is the sum of the digits and we need to minimize it right this is going to be a least number that means i need to get a minimum value for this ratio to get the minimum value for this ratio i need to minimize the numerator right i need to get a minimum value here and i need to maximize the sum maximize the sum here right the denominator should be maximum possible that's how you get the ratio the minimum value possible so there are two ways to solve it one is you can use the concept of algebra and solve it but it's too complicated okay it's going to take long time it's a time consuming thing an easy way to approach these type of question is you pick some numbers and you figure out a pattern here okay we're going to do that in this particular question so it could be any three digit number right that can be the the number could be anywhere from 100 to triple nine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick some numbers from this range and see how these numbers like you know what is going to be the ratio of these numbers let's take uh the numbers in the range from 100 to 199 okay in the hundreds i'm taking the numbers in this range 100 to one uh, double nine Let's say I'm taking the smallest value, let's say 100. Then I'm taking a middle value in this range, 150. Then the maximum value in the range is 199. So I need to, I'm going to figure out how uh, these numbers, in these numbers, what would be the ratio here? The ratio is nothing but you divide the number by the sum of the digits, right? 100 divided by, what is the sum here? 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So you will get the ratio is 100 in the first number. The second one you are getting 150 you divide by the sum is going to be 6 here so 150 by 6 will give you around uh, 25 and let's take the third number 199 so it's going to be 199 divided by the sum is uh, 1 plus 9 is 10 10 plus 9 is 19 so it's going to be close to 10 point something you just need to approximate value okay? you don't need to find the exact value here so comparing these three numbers we can clearly say that the ratio of the number to the sum of the digits is minimum or the least for 199. Similarly, if I take the other set, let's say from 200 to 299, the same pattern is going to apply in the same, right? In these set also. So, 299 will have the minimum ratio or let's say from 300 to 399, if you take 399 will have the same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare these numbers, right? 1, 9, 2, 9, 3, 9, see how the ratio is affecting these numbers. Let's take 1, 9 here, right? 1, 9, as per the ratio, you take 1, 9, you divide by the sum is 19. Let's take the next number, 2, 9. The number is 2, 9. The sum is going to be uh, 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 9 is 20. So now you, let's compare these two ratios, see? The denominator is increasing only by 1. Denominator is increasing only by 1. But the numerator here, it's increasing by 100. Now, can you tell me which ratio will have the smallest value? See, definitely this is going to be the smallest value, right? Because the numerator is 1, triple 9. Here, it's 2, triple 9. It's 100 more, right, in the second case. But the denominator is slightly increasing. So, definitely I can say that this is going to be a bigger value. You can check it out, right? It's going to be around more than 10. Definitely, it's going to be more than 10. We can easily confirm, right? So, it's going to be, I think it's going to be 1, uh, 20, 90. It's going to be around uh, 4 point something, 14 point something. Here, it's going to be around 10 point something. So, we can clearly say that this will give you a smallest ratio compared to other. Like, it's going to be the same for 3, triple 9. See? The number, the numerator is increasing a lot compared to this. But the, the denominator is just, let's say, 3 plus 9 is 12 plus 9 is uh, 22. Sorry, it's 21. Yeah. So, you can see when you compare this with this, see, the numerator is increasing by 200. But the denominator is increasing only by uh, 2. So, definitely, this is going to be the lowest fraction. They have the small numerator compared to 3 triple 9. So we can clearly say that 199 is the number which will give you the least ratio as per the question. 
and the question is asking you to find what is the difference between the digit at the hundred place and the digit at the unit place so it's going to be nine is the digit at the unit place hundred place is one you find the difference nine minus one it's eight so here they are referring to the positive difference because all the options are positive values so you just need to take the positive difference so nine minus one is eight so your answer is option c so this is going to be the best way to solve these type of questions you can pick some number in the range figure out a pattern and apply the logic as well as your reasoning skills to get to the answer option c is the right answer in this case